guys and welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a eye look I'm decided to just do like a few tutorials with like full face of makeup I want to say there's a bird tweeting so I decided to do like a few tutorials with like a full face of makeup and like yeah I do it from scratch and then I thought some other tutorials I just do eye looks because well I just change it up a little bit it's quicker to edit quicker to put out but it's also not so kind of boring for you guys so we'll see how it plays out see what you guys think but yeah so for the eye look I'm actually thinking I've got a bit of inspo I need to get my phone and show you guys so I got a bit of inspo from this insta account Bella Sunshine Beauty it's gorgeous it's like this like glitter on top of a wing liner it's like a simple kind of um, half cut crease and I've seen it a lot over Instagram lately I thought I'd recreate it I don't have that gorgeous like purpley like royal blue glitter but I do have this like blue turquoisey glitter that I've used in a previous tutorial. I'll leave it linked up here. <laughs> Maybe I'll change it up. Maybe I'll use a different glitter. No, I think I'll use this one. Do I want to use this one? Let me just look around. Hold on a sec. So I have these two glitters and I'm not sure like if I want to use the turquoisey one yet or like this kind of um more like deeper blue shadow but it's like a duo cream glitter. So this one's from Sparkle Pig, so I'm thinking I might use this one, or I might use this one, depending which one I feel looks better at the time. So we'll just see how I go. But yeah, I was thinking of just recreating it, but putting my own spin on it, kind of thing, because I've just been seeing it a lot around Instagram. So, without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> so now that we're getting nice and personal, I'm just going to quickly prime my eyes. I'm going to go in with my soft ochre paint pot from MAC and just applied that all over the lids to create a nice neutral base for the eyeshadows to really pop and stand out against. So now that our lids are primed and ready to go, I'm going to take Alchemy from my Caramel Melange Zoeva palette and I'm just going to place this on the outer part of the eye, so the outer corner and slightly through the outer crease to deepen it up. As you guys can see, I'm just I first to put it on to get the most pigment on that area, and then I just go in holding the bottom of the brush so that I'm using a light hand and I have more control on how much product I'm placing down. And just keep going back and forth on the outer corner of the eye, slowly with each stroke, bringing it a bit further in towards the inner corner of the eye. But don't bring it all the way and just bring it to about here and then just slightly rough it up towards the brow bone with whatever's left on the brush. Boom chicka laka done. Now just do the other eye. Oh, I changed my mind a little bit. I'm bringing it in a little bit further than here. I think I brought it to about like kind of like diagonal of like the top of the brow to like the, um, what's that, the outer corner of the eye oh, I forget my words sometimes, you guys get that too like, you're thinking of the word and then all of a sudden mid sentence it just disappears on you, and you're like on the 221 Lux Soft Crease Brush from Zoeva I'm going to take the shade Start Soft and apply that just above Alchemy to help further blend it out then on a 228 crease brush from Zoeva, I'm going to take Universal Delight and place that just above to further just smoke it out. And this super fluffy brush coupled with that light brown shade, like it's a very light pale brown, it's going to help create that seamless blend so you guys don't have that harsh line. It's nice and soft and just fades into the brow bone. Yeah, girl. Oh my god, I just love a perfect smoke. Like, it just gives you the feel. Like, it's like a job well done. <laughs> oh, I'm looking a little bit pale on camera now. Eh. So, grabbing this kind of like, I'd say like it's a bricky brown shade. It's got like a nice, kind of pinkish, reddish undertone to it. I'm going to grab this on a pencil brush. This is from Gloss. And I'm applying this to the outermost part of my eye, so the outer V area. And again, holding it further down, guys. To have more control on how much I place down. The eyeshadow doesn't need to be too deep and dark. That's why I'm not using anything like too intense, like any 
really dark browns, just kind of keeping it warm. I use the little side bristles to kind of just soften the edges, like the side of the brush. Using whatever's left on that petite crease brush, I'm just softening the edges of that. Okay, next I'm just going to cut the crease, so do the inner part of the eye. So how I'm cutting my crease is I first of all apply a little bit of the um, product on the very base of my like lash line. Then I look up so that it kind of marks where the top of the cut crease is going to go, so that when I open my eyes it's still going to be able to see it. Then I just kind of follow the eye shape around and to connect up to where I've um, place that little mark on the top of my like crease area so it's basically just like connecting the dots guys and I just fill it in to about halfway so once I've cut out creases I'm going to go in with like a matte eyeshadow I'm using like, I'm using like a creamy white shadow you guys of course can use a shimmer if you want another color like I'm just going in with a matte because I don't want to take away from like the eye look itself like the eyeliner that's kind of like the main focus so I'm just keeping it matte, like the eyeshadow is matte today. And taking Alchemy again on that petite crease and just softening that transition into the brown. So next for our inner corner and brow bone highlight, I think I might do a shimmer for this part. So I'm going to take Ice Queen and Shimmer Shimmer and place that on... So the brow bone I'm going to use my 232 Luxe Classic Shader and for the inner corner I'm just going to go in with my pencil brush from Zoeva. I'm just going to soften those edges so it's not such a like, stark difference, I want those two to fade. And like I said I'm just going to take a pencil brush to apply these two. So my inners, I want it to be a bit more intense so I'm just going to spritz that just with some finishing spray. That's better. There we go. So in the picture, she's definitely got like gel liner going on, but I don't have any gel liner with me at the moment. I need to go pick some up. But today I thought I'd just do a liquid liner. I think it'd be the same effect anyway. So I'm going to use two liquid liners today. I'm going to go in firstly with my Hayley Baldwin for Model Co. Liquid Liner. And I'm just going to basically map out the liner look that I want. It's going to be a really thick liner today, guys. So... No, you go, it doesn't matter if you stuff up because you can just keep going over it, making it thicker. That's the beauty of this look. That's also the reason we brought our cut creases up quite high as well, so that you could see it over top of the liner. So I went with the um, Hayley Baldwin one first, just because I find it easier to create that line. Like, I have more control with that um, pointer thing. But it's running out, so that's why I don't use it to fill in. I use my Milani Infinite Liquid Liner in the shade Everlast to create the nice like deep black intense wing liner oh i'm not gonna lie you guys that was like a mission and a half to get these wings they're not perfect but like i swear to get to this stage was like so hard. i had to redo them because i made it too thick and I was like it's too it was too thick on the inner corners so i had to kind of repatch it up there so guys it happens to the best of us just gotta keep pushing through Get your, bottom, your makeup remover handy so you can just kind of fix it up in places. But we got there at the end, which is the main bit. So I'm actually excited to do the glitter bit now. So I'm thinking I'll just start off with this one, which is the holographic one, the sparkle pink one. So I'll find, see if I can find it and link it down below. But I'm just going to apply a bit of eyelash glue to um, the inner part of the lid, like a bit at a time. And just kind of pack it on. Girl, I'm actually digging this glitter. Look, it's like got reflux of like yellow, blue, green, purple in it. It's so pretty. Now that my lash line looks a little bit crazy, let's do the lashes real quick. So the lashes I went in today with are the ones from Anitude in the style Feisty. So they're nice and wispy so they don't cover up too much of the liner and the eyeshadow work that we've done. They're long enough to kind of still be seen. So that it doesn't look like you just like you've got no lashes on with the liner contrasting against it. So for my tight line, I'm going to go in with this Makeup Geek Eye Black Eye Coal in the shade Obsidian, and I'm placing this, like I said, along my tight line to bring back a bit of definition to it. 
and also help hide the falsies like into the lash line. So I also forgot to mention guys, this um, Sparkle Pig glitter, I don't know if it's eye safe or not, so if you do use it, use it in your, at your own risk. I'm not 100% sure if it's eye safe, so just keep that in mind. And for my bottom waterline, I'm going to go in with this Makeup Geek Eye Coal in the shade Espresso. It's just a brown one. I didn't want anything too intense on the bottom lash line, so that's why I'm using the brown. And I'm also just dragging it under the lash line a little bit on the outer corner. <laughs> then taking that deepest brown that we use on the outer corner of our eyeshadow, like our eye, we're going to I'm going to take that on a Morphe M three two six brush and tightly wiggle that on top of the black eye coal and just kind of smoke it out a little bit. Then taking both Alchemy and Start Soft on a pencil brush, I'm just going to wiggle that against the deep brown shade that we used before. And then I'm just finally taking some of that Universal Delight shade and I'm just softly diffusing the edges of that brown into like my skin. And then I'm just kind of coating my bottom lashes in some mascara. And this concludes today's eye makeup tutorial guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You know where to click down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you guys can keep up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials that I'll be posting throughout the week. Um, the, make sure to hit that um, little, little bell button, guys, before you leave as well so you can be notified. Otherwise, you may not be notified and you'll miss it. And that'll be a bit of a shame. <laughs> but otherwise, guys, I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing week, and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Bye.